G'day, I'm Mark Berg. I show up to people's work, front doors, footy games, you name it, surprising them with fishing adventures that they will never forget. Join me and the crew as we travel to some of the most exotic and breathtaking fishing spots around the world. From pristine rivers to turquoise oceans, we'll catch some amazing fish and have a great laugh along the way. I'm at Darwin Harbour right now, and the guy that we're about to surprise is actually from Perth. He and his mate, Justin, have just flown across, and he has absolutely no idea he's about to be taken on an incredible adventure with Canon Charters. Now, Dave, the guy that we're taking has got quite a story. Unfortunately, about seven weeks ago, Dave lost his son, Hunter, to leukemia. It was a long, hard fought battle, but unfortunately, Hunter passed away. And here at Fishing Addiction, we heard about this and uh, Justin is a member and he actually nominated his mate Dave to come on the show. Earlier, we spoke to Dave's wife, Kate, and, um, and this is the chat that we had. Hi. Kate, how are you? Good, who have you got there? Um, this is my youngest, Phoebe. Hi, Phoebe. This is Zachy. Hi, Zachy. Well, thank you for your time. We just wanted to have a chat to you about your wonderful husband, who, of course, we're going to be surprising this afternoon. But obviously, you guys have been through something that, I mean, you wouldn't wish upon anybody, obviously. It's, uh, I, I don't... I just don't know really what to say to you, to be perfectly honest. I mean, I can't imagine the, the pain and hurt that's been there for you guys, but perhaps you can tell us a little bit about Hunter and um, his relationship with his dad. Oh, no worries. Um, so, my son Hunter, who I've got a beautiful picture of. Ah, oh, there he is, gorgeous boy. Eight. Um, he was diagnosed with leukemia when he was three. Yeah. Of course it has, and 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 so Dave and he were obviously close. They they did a bit of fishing together. They called Hunter his little puzzle piece, and actually, um, the two of them were a mini version of each other. They were hyperactive, loud, larrikins. Yeah. Everybody's red. Yeah, right. That's so awesome, and that's how you think Dave will remember him. Yeah. His, his, his fishing partner as well. Oh dear. Uh, look, I, in all honesty, I wasn't sure if it was going to be too soon for us to do something for Dave, because like you say, seven weeks is not a long time um, to really process it all and to grieve and, and uh, but you seem to think that this is a good thing for Dave? Look, I think it's a trip of a lifetime and his boy will be right there next to him. Oh yeah? Yeah, no doubt about it. Absolutely. Ah, that is so. That is so great. We lost Hunter's fishing rod for seven weeks, and we found it two days ago. Oh, that's brilliant! Hunter is telling us he is excited for this trip. Yeah. And he'll be with us. <laughs> oh, that is so amazing. So, how do you think Dave's going to react when he sees us? Uh, you might get some swear words. Oh no, I will beep them out, that's okay. He's earned swear words, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, he's gonna be ecstatic. This is a trip of a lifetime. He has absolutely no idea that we're about to surprise him, then have dinner, and then tomorrow morning, we're flying on a seaplane out to Arnhem Land where the MV Cannon is gonna be sitting there waiting for us, and we have an awesome week in front for Dave. Let's go surprise Alfie Show. Yeah, they must be around the corner. Oi, Zachy! Hey, boys! How you going? Dave. How you going, mate? Yeah, good. He's got no idea, doesn't he? He doesn't. 
What? He has no idea. We're here for you, mate. Stop it. We're here for you. You all know this. <laughs> get up here, get up here. Come and stand here. My goodness. How are you? Good, mate. Yeah, good. Yeah, you yeah. thought, what did you think was going on? <laughs> I, know, I, saw, I know, I saw the camera, I was like, oh, mate, Berg was like, still didn't know until like, you came over and said hi and said, boys. Far oh, yeah. Stop it. <laughs> really? Justin. Justin has been amazing putting this together, mate. We're here to take you for a whole week. We're going on a mothership in Cannon Charters in all through Arnhem Land, fishing for Barra and all sorts for the entire week. He's not coming. We tried to get him on, but couldn't get him on. So you're stuck with us. What? For a whole week. My it is. Can you this as well? Oh. Everyone does, mate. Oh, Everyone. golly. I was just talking to Kate on the phone like half an hour ago. Oh, She's so excited for you, it is out of control. We know you guys have had a, oh. a terrible time. I'm going to cry on camera. Mate, Don't make me do a mark. Bring it on. Mate. <laughs> bring it on. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about it, but oh. we know you've been through some crap, mate, and we, we just want to potentially give you a, a week where you can just get away, catch some great fish, and just um, try and clear your mind a little bit. And if we can do that, well then, that's something. Oh, that's God. something. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, he did it. He did it. He did it. I had no idea. As soon as we spoke to Kate, she just said, no, he's got to do this. And we're so happy that we can do this for you, mate. Oh, mate. Yeah, what would Hunter do? He'd just, oh, he'd be, he'd be stoked. Yeah. He'd be stoked. Yeah, he would. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sweetheart, for letting this happen. <laughs> <laughs> Serious brownie points for the rest oh, of your life. Yeah. You know that. Oh, you're one or two. Yeah. <laughs> so tomorrow morning, we're jumping on a seaplane, yep. and it's flying us out to the mothership, which is already there, landing on the water. Oh no, how cool, hey, that's so that's cool. Insane. And then we get a that's dinghy insane. across to the mothership and by tomorrow afternoon, mate, you'll probably have a barrow in the boat. Oh. The next, next part of the adventure is, we've done the surprise, is to go down to Crustaceans, which is just down here. We've got dinner booked, it's my shout tonight. We're gonna go have some lovely seafood and then uh, try and get some sleep tonight. Yeah, yeah. good luck with that. Yeah. And tomorrow morning, mate, we're out of here. Uh, what time? Early. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, lads, let's go have some dinner. Oh, good on you guys. No worries. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, <God>. oh, <laughs> After a beautiful flight over Arnhem Land, we loaded our bags onto one of the dories and cruised over to the MV Cannon, our home for the next week. Well mate, half an hour ago we were in an aeroplane and here we are all kitted up, yep. ready to go fishing with Cannon Chars. We've got Lenny for the week, sorry about that. Uh, now he's a good fella, he knows the territory really well. We've got a challenge we think we've worked out for you. We'll let you know after you catch your first fish. Yep. Uh, welcome to the Northern Territory. Welcome Thanks, to Cannon Charters. Good luck, my friend. Thank you very much. Let's go fishing. Righto, Lenny, let's go. Grab a seat. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> my thing is excited. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, the first night I, I laid in bed and I went to watch some videos, but I. I thought if I watch the videos and it's not gonna put me in a good headspace for the fishing, so I held off and, and when we're, we steam out to the spots, I guess I, just, I catch myself looking at the water and thinking, oh, you know, can't you show us take us to the spots today? Oh, oh yeah, got him. Get him, Bergie. Oh, I got him, mate, I got him. First barrel of the trip. Yes! Just a little pup, but that's okay, it's a good start. You can see just in here, there's a back eddy. That tide is really pushing out hard. And these back eddies get created by hitting different parts of the bank. And what it does is it, it, it holds a spot for the fish to sit without having to fight the current. And then any bait that comes past them, they ambush them, just like this little guy has. I'll just pull him over the side. Should stay on. Here we go, barrow number one. 
So what I'm going to get you to do, mate, is I'm going to uh, get you to come up and stand next to me because we're going to set the fishing addiction challenge. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this guy to Lenny. There you go. Alrighty. One little barrow done. The fishing addiction challenge is this. $5,000 worth of gear from our very good friends at Wilson. Without them, this show would not exist. The Australian Fishing Company, get behind them. And a couple of grands worth of gear from my tackle store, addicttackle.com.au. Get behind that one too, that'd be nice. 7,000 bucks worth of gear, up for grabs, and this is what you've got to do. You've either got a 100 centimetre barra mundi, which is a metery, yep. or you've got a 100 barra. <laughs> 100 barra. <laughs> But I'll say this, so. what I catch goes towards that count as well. One for. One for. Yeah. So now we've got 99 to go. And then Ooh. just a little twist, because we're going to do some reef fishing as well eventually, we're going to add in five reef species as well. So not what we catch in here, but yep. what we catch out on the reef. So 100 barra and five reef species. Or a metery. You get a metery, mate, you win instantaneously. Straight away. Right. Straight away. Oh. How's that sound? Well, WWHD, what would Hunter do? He'd say, let's get it, Bergie. He'd say, let's get it. Let's do it, let's eh? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. little Hunter. We're going to do yeah. it for Hunter. What do you reckon, brother? You reckon we're going to get this? Oh, I think we're, it's going to be close. You really? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think we'll have a go. Yeah, yeah. yeah right, eh? Yeah. You better yeah. not stuff up. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> You're only as good as your guide. <laughs> Ooh, he's a bit dodgy. So, one down. Let's keep on fishing. Let's do it, Good please. luck, mate. Thanks, mate. Thanks. No worries. Follow through with your cast. Follow through. You're lobbing it. So watch me, watch this, ready? I'm gonna point my rod exactly where I want it. Yeah. Oh, I took it out of the bite zone too quick. I keep thinking I'm gonna cook the goose on it. You just gotta go for it, mate. Don't worry about cooking the goose. It's also weedless. Get in there, go for it. Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, no, oh, there's a bite, got him. Oh. He's twitching, you don't want to twitch. Okay. Yours we'll just... yeah. a different lure. Oh, different another bat. Yeah. Come here. Oh, he's gone oh, under. Oh, he's gone under. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh. No, don't touch it. Don't touch it. I'll get it. Another little fella. Go for it, mate. Into that little spot. They're obviously loaded up in there. Oh. All right. So I'll just give Lenny your leader. Thanks, mate. As soon as the Lenny touches the leader, we're going to count the fish. Hang on, mate, your, your lure's all stuffed up. you got to check it, it's all bent. you got to straighten it out. You just had a bite on it. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. 98. All right, back in again. Right in. That's the one. That's it, now slow wind. you got to check it, it's all bent. you got to straighten it out. You just had a bite on it. Yeah, okay. No, Number no, 98. It's all right, bro. It's all right. Oh, yep, there's one. Oh, there you go. This one's a little bit better. It's interestingly, Ooh. the guys actually, other guys actually told us the afternoon sessions were slow. <laughs> That's about 10 casts and three fish. So, or four fish, actually. Oh, big. That's big, wasn't it? Don't swear. <laughs> Try not to square. Oh. All right, this is number 97. So rather than pull all these fish in, folks, and hold them all up, it is just a lot friendlier to the fish to let them go in the water. Occasionally, if it's a bigger one, we'll pull it in. We'll have a good look at her. But uh, if they're just the smaller schoolies, we're just going to let them go the side of the boat. No, it isn't. What was that? Uh, a uh, big diamond scale mullet. <laughs> Just freaking see him coming towards us, the big white lips. Oh, yeah. Mate, the amount of times you mistake in big barra, oh, you get two or three of them swimming in a line, you think it's one big barra. Oh, yep, another one. You've got to be joking me. That was halfway out again. Yeah. This is a better fish again. You're right, buddy. Come here. I think you've fished here before, haven't you, Lenny? <laughs> the wry smile up the back there. That. Okay, so we'll swap spots again. Get it in there, man. Yep. That's 96. Those are a little too well hooked, aren't they, Lenny? You gotta give them a little lift. 
The really big barrel, you don't do that to you because their body weight's too big and it'll stretch out their gill rakers. But these little fish, they're fine just to hold like that. Pop them off on the side of the boat. Twing, he's away. You know, twist yourself into oh, it. Oh, he's, oh. You don't need to strike, just nice, easy, even pressure. But that was a, definitely a barrel. Yeah. Oh, I swiped up on my lure. There, got him. There's two lures there. Yeah, no, he ain't mine. <laughs> I think they like this big, bright, white lure. Yeah. yeah. That's all right. No, no. No, put another lure on. I'm catching all the fish. Yeah, true. We've got heaps in there. Yeah. These Defiance lures, man, I'm telling you, they're fantastic on Barra. They are really good, Lenny, honestly. I can't fault them, mate. They're brilliant. That's 95. Lenny's got the leader, we'll count it. Oh, he had it in his mouth. Oh, he's still there. Wait, wait. And we'll speed it up a little bit. So what we're gonna do this cast, look, look, it's following. Stop, stop, stop. See that? Yep. Follow it all the way to the boat. the boat. So with this cast, what are you gonna do, cast? There's another one gone, so this is my treble. Okay, now, start winding. Yep. Oh, oh, he's on. You got him? Yes! Yes! <laughs> go easy, go easy. Right, nice and easy. Stay there, stay there. Yeah. Just walk backwards for me. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Free spool, free spool. Just press the button. Your first ever. Yes. Saltwater Barramundi. You little ripper. This is for you, Hunty. Daddy did it. You! <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. Oh, right, mate. Supporting. That's it, just hold him like that, nice oh. and easy. If he flips, you let that one go and just let him swing. There you go, got him on that uh, flat shad. Look at that, was that 94? That is 95. No, 95 before 94 now. 94? Yeah, that's six. 94, 94. 94. This guy could oh, go back in the see water. You, mate. Well done. I'll see you soon for 93. We need a bigger one though, hey? Yeah, we do. Congratulations, your first ever Barramundi. Yes, thanks mate, what a thrill. Yes! You've I'll be that. I'll be taking autographs down in the after take <laughs> thirteen hundred hours, fellas. <laughs> what have we done? What have we done? So when you cast Dave, just watch the rod behind you. Oh he's on again. Better fish. Nice and easy. It's nice and easy. Oh yeah, he's got a bit of weight to him. Yeah, it's a bit of fish. Nice bit of fish. All right, nice and easy. Keep him in the water. Keep him in the water. He's going to bring Lenny. him round. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, that's it. Bring him round to Lenny. He's so green. 93. 93. Holy smokes. I'll go up here and get 92. What a session, boys. What a session. Holy smokes. This is nuts. Why well, just hold that one up to camera, please, Lenny, if you don't mind. I said 92. 92. Gorgeous, gorgeous looking fish. So healthy. 90. 90. Yep. I just gave away 89. That's right. Thank you. We get it back. Oh! oh. Man, I just cannot imagine how many barramundi are down there. You're getting a fish of gas. It's like a fish farm. Yeah. 89. Is it 89? 89. 88. 88. 88. Yeah. Gosh. So I'm absolutely killing it on this. This is Zerek Defiance. In all honesty, I mean, you're probably going to catch them on pretty much any lure when they're like this. But it's a good strong lure, and I've caught uh, already a dozen fish on it. In the meantime, you've got number what? 87. 87. Another one to the boat. Crazy fishing, guys. Crazy. You! Going straight over. Where you goes? Feeling pumped. I've got to tell you, I feel, I'm feeling pumped. <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> fishing. <laughs> My family, we've had a rough time over the last, say, five years, but the last three months particularly have been, been really tough. Um, our little boy, almost eight weeks ago now, passed away from sepsis. It was really tough to watch those last two weeks. Um, and then the last seven have been really tough. Um, and I guess when I saw whoever organised this, like, just, just so, Kate, you guys, when I saw you um, and then you told me what was going to happen, I guess all that, all those things that I remembered 
just kind of went to the to the back unwind and I just look forward to this so much and I don't I don't think anyone will understand exactly what what this means to me. It's a dark all afternoon. Oh yes! Hey mate, here you come. Mate, no one gets this for their first session. That's number 80. No one Mate. does ever in the history of our show. This is this is crazy. This is meant to be. Bergie, this is meant to be. Absolutely insane fishing. Add fish on. Oh, right over me, Lonnie. It's all right, I'm under you. Can I have a top of me? Yep, good, good, good. Such healthy, gorgeous fish. 70. Nah, less than that. Is it? Yep, 77, I think. 70, I thought it was 76. I thought the last one was 77. Oh, but you didn't know, we didn't get the boat to Dropped we? it. So this is 77. Okay, 77. This is going to be really hard to remember this. Oh, golly. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's much better. Thank you, Dave. 75. <laughs> Appreciate that. Oh, that's oh, why. Yeah, he hooked me in the back. Hey. He's dead set hooked in the middle of the back. It all counts. <laughs> yeah, count it. 75. Nah, 74. 74. Yep. You'd be surprised how absolutely freezing cold it is in the middle of that as well. Really? Like we've literally been cruising along in the boat doing. In, in, in 35 degree heat, like psycho hot, we've gone through one of those storms, it's dropped to nearly 16 degrees, you're shivering in the boat, you come out the other end of the storm, and it's psycho hot again, and there's all steam coming off you. Oh yeah, oh. there's one. Oh, oh he's geez. going nuts! Three metre flatty. <laughs> Don't you ever say that <laughs> on this show again. Triggered! <laughs> I used to like you. 93. <laughs> that's oh, seven, one. Is that 72? Oh. Oh. Here we go. Double hook ups. <laughs> you ask. <laughs> you ask, we deliver. Doubles. Oh. Doubles are fun. They're only little fish, but they're a lot of fun. One's bigger. It's already started. What are we up to? 70. 71. Or one? 70. Or that's, this is 71, 70? Sure. Yeah, yeah that sounds good. That'll do. 30 in an hour and a half. All right, I'm going to send mine home. Right, mate. You send yours home. Yeah. It could be the last one we hold up, mate, because that storm that's coming in, have a go at that. And it is kind of heading our way, so let's get more casts in yep. before it's all over. Hey, guys, if you want to support Fishing Addiction, become a member today. Uh, we really try and make dreams come true on this show, and uh, with all your support, we, uh, we can do it. But the more members we have, the more trips we can do, the bigger prizes we can give away. So become part of the crew today. Sign up at fishingaddiction.com.au. Uh, and you never know, it could be your door that I come knocking on next. That's it. Can you arrive a bit more, please? Thank you. Do -si do. Yeah, there's another one. Here comes 67. You! This is nuts. Where are we going? We're going to have 50 in the first session. Crazy. What was that, 68? 67. 67? 67. Yeah, we're going to get damp. You just looked up and saw that, did you, mate? We might just catch the edge of it. Or we might get absolutely hammered. They can fish are going nuts, and often before a storm, that's what they do. Whoa. What are we up to? 66. 66. All right. Dosey doe down the back. We've got a system, boys. Only got one hook in, should be sweet. Oh, that storm coming over. We may be switching from the big camera to the uh, little GoPros because I reckon we're going to get very wet just quietly. Holy smokes. That is scary looking.
Big tropical thunderstorms like this one are a unique part of the Northern Territory, together with both its wildlife and surrounding landscape. We waited to see if the storm was going to pass over, but unfortunately the rain had settled in and we called it a day. I congratulated Dave on his first ever saltwater barramundi and then we headed back to the mothership. What a difference 12 hours makes. That storm came through yesterday afternoon, dumped a lot of rain. So we've gone from catching a Fisher cast to not seeing one at all this morning because this water has changed colour completely. It's coffee. And that's very, very uncool. But we're hoping that running tide this afternoon pushes in some nice clear water. The barra might switch back on again. But for now, I think we're going to be uh, putting in a lot of cast today before we uh, we see any fish. Well, that could be one there though. Close to the trees possible. Perfect. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's one. Get it, baby. I got him, mate. I got him. <sighs> mate, I've, what are we up to? What number? 63. So this is 63. 63? Yeah. I think nah, I got we'll you. call 37 to 62. No. Yep. Yeah, maybe. No, it's 63, guys. No, it's 63. It's 63. We found one! Yay! Not a big fish by any means, but it's a start. Paralyzed grip. You just give them a little squeeze like that and they just do not move. First bear of the day. Hello, mate. How you going? You'd be thinking, oh, Bergie, you're hurting him. Not one bit. You watch this. As soon as I put him in the water. <laughs> Ready, buddy? Cool. Away he goes. All right, number one for the day and number 60... Two. Two. Two? two. All right, we'll say 62. <laughs> 62. All right, I'm not 100% convinced, but we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. Right in there, my friend. Great cast. I can't, I can't express how I feel. Uh, it's just, it's just, it's so special, and anyway, everyone involved, and I still had no idea. Um, it just, just changed everything, and just, I think my life just changed at that moment as well. And I thank you so much. Um, just, yeah, I just can't, can't put in words, but thank you so much for this, for this experience, and just having a ball. It's all good, I got him. I got him. look at him, he's got, got it's like a cigar across the front of his mouth. Such a small fish. But that 62, yeah? Yeah, touch the leader, off he goes. 62? 62. 62. Whip it. Uh, see here, she started winding it then. Yeah. As soon as it lands, whip twice, and then give it a couple of winds. Look, I'm actually winding it as I'm whipping it. There's got to be a fish on that. Just got to get the right cast. Ah, short. Yeah, see the gap there between those two sticks? That's where you're going. That'll do, donkey. And you're on. Oh my gosh, have a look at the size of this barra. <laughs> this is up to counts, be the eh? smallest barra I've ever seen in my entire my life. First one for the day. Just bring it round. That's a fish tank barra, bro. <laughs> hey, mate. Hold that for me. That's a record for my... Uh, That's the smallest smallest fish. Though. That is a yearling fish. So this guy's be lucky to be a year old. He would have come off from last year's runoff. Yelch. And they always are the ones that get you. But if you can get that little squeeze grip on him, just like that, he'll hold nice and still. Hooks will pop out. Is that 61? This is number 61, yes. Really? 
<laughs> really? <laughs> Are we really counting 60, this? 61.5. I, I guess I didn't, uh... I didn't specify size, did I? <laughs> All right, 61. Okay, buddy. See you, mate. And after a twitch, it doesn't hurt to stop either. Oh, yeah, oh. fish on. Fish on. Yep, he's got one. Oh, nice fish too. You keep going, don't worry about me, I'll get out of your way. Yes, Barrowman. No, it's not, it's a big jack. It's a nice jack. Have you ever caught a mangrove jack? First time, first time, Bergy. That's awesome. Well, so what we're going to do, you're just going to bring him down there, keep him in the water. I'll balance the boat. And Lenny will grab him for you, mate. Oh, ho, ho. Up to Hunty. It's that for you, buddy. That is a stonking you. fish, mate. They're great jacks. First, time. first jack, first well time. done. Mango jack. Now, I know you're looking at the going, well, that's not really that big, Bergy, compared to the barra, but for the species, that's a really good jack, man. Beautiful. And they are absolutely sensational table fish, but a jack like that could be 25 years old. Wow. Whereas the barra you're catching that size are maybe a year or so. And one thing that people bird. don't realise is when if you come to a snag and it's got a family of jacks on it, you clean them all out, that's it. They're done. So I'm a big fan of letting these fish go, especially these adult fish that are breeders. But that is a pearler, mate. Doesn't actually contribute to the challenge at all. Who cares? Not even the species? No, <laughs> reef species. <laughs> Jeez, he's good, isn't he? Copy. Just, just spear him straight in. Look at that, away he goes. All right. Back to the barra. Yes. We're counting down from 100 barra here in Arnhem Land with our lucky fishing addiction member, Dave. <laughs> and we're so close to hitting the halfway mark. Same snag, Dave. Oh, this one's going crazy. What is this? It's different. This is not a barra, I don't think. Oh, it's taken line. Oh, it is a barra. It it's hooked sort of on the side, so he's... Oh, he's oh, he's a little bit bigger too. Oh. Is that 50? It's 50. 50! Halfway there, my friend. Guess a look at him, mate. Oh, yeah, that's all right. We'll take that. 50! All right, send him home. Twitch, twitch, twitch. You got him. You're on. Nice. Oh, there's one. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's definitely the best one so far. Nice little fish. See you, buddy. Uh, We've got a live one. Oh, Whoa. that's not a bad one. Beautiful. Send him home, mate. i got to say, Lenny, I'm enjoying catching them, but I'd really like to see something a little bit bigger. Could you just organise that for us, please? See you, buddy. How much fun is this? Come on. It seems Lenny has some special powers he's not telling us about, because sure enough, the next fish we hooked up to wasn't small. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's a better hit. What a hit. That's a big one, mate. You see him take off. Whoa, he's pulling line. Is it a barra? Yeah. That's the question. Oh, big ones, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Well, big ones often stay down like this, mate. They don't jump. Just keep that line tight no matter what you do. A bend in the rod all times. Oh, he's gone around the corner. Is he around the corner? No. I don't know. He's taking a little line, Lenny. Oh. <laughs> Wind as he drop down. Oh, oh yes. it's a lovely fish. Keep his head in the water. Wait. Hold. Now you go. Hold the line. Back. Hold the line. Swimming back. And out oh, of the net. No. Uh, bring you back around again. Take your time. All the time in the world. Don't pull him out of the water. Yes! There you go, got him. What a fish! Woo! That's more like it. Oh, oh that's oh, a real one. You look at that. Look at that. That's a cracking fish, mate. That's not bad. Good well, fight. Calling that one for just probably around that 78 mark, 77. What do you think, Lenny? Maybe higher? No, Lower. 85, 86? 77. We'll call it for 77. 77. What did you say? 89 or something. Yeah, 85. yeah that'd be right. right. <laughs> this guy's always pushing the boundaries. <laughs> That's a beautiful fish. Look at the size of the spike on oh, his back there. Well. Imagine that going in your hand. I cannot. That's, That's a, a cool fish. That's number 44. 
44, man. 44. Yeah. Oh, 44 to go. I reckon you got a bigger one in you, though, but that's oh, definitely sure. the fish of the trip so far. See you later, buddy. Great fish. Oh, well done, yeah. mate. Sensational. Woohoo! Keep casting. Beautiful, thanks, mate. 42. Get it. Oh, yeah, the snag. Oh, he's on. Oh, weird no, fight. Or a jack. Yeah, it might be a jack. Wait, try to go back into that snag. No, it's a barra. Yes. Oh, hello. That's a nice way to finish the day, guys. Is that number 42, number 41? <laughs> 42. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Every fish you try and scam one, mate. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh, yep, leader touched. Yeah, leader touched. Man, he is feisty. Oh, good last cast, Berg. You're just going to release him in the water there. He's gone. And I'm just going to uh, finish off by saying, not as hot as yesterday, no. but still a great day. Stunning day. Stunning. Still, how many fish did we catch? So what did we start the day on? We've got about 30 barra today, mate. And you got that big one around that 75 mark. But once we get back there, icy cold drink, lovely dinner. Nice kip. Yeah. And do it all again tomorrow. Get again tomorrow. Well done, mate. You're doing very well. Thanks, Beggy. Let's go home. Righto, let's go. I guess every new species that I caught was was definitely a moment where I thought if a hunter would love to see, you know, this fish. Like the yeah, mangrove jack I've never seen before, and I just know he'd love to catch that. And you know, because he used to love catching wrasse, and he'd, he'd think just a mangrove jack would be amazing <laughs> in his eyes. You know, but uh, I think uh, and then. Barramundi for definitely for Papa, which is um, Hunter's grandfather, who's just been so special to us and him along the journey. Um, the Barra, the Barra is for him. Ready to go, lads? Yes, Bergie. Well, this is the morning of day three. How many have we got left? 41. 41 barra. Can we do it this morning? Can we not? You already reckon, Lenny? Yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah? yeah. Lenny's positive. Right. That's a good sign. 41 barra, and then yeah. you've still got the rest of the week to catch those five species. Yep. Let's go fishing. Let's go. Oof. All right on the shallows. Did you hear that? Oh, oh yes, yeah, fish on. Fish on. Off just there, and then you hook up straight away. I'll keep it. Well, that brings us to the end of part one with Cannon Charters here in magnificent Arnhem Land. Let's take a quick look at what we've got in store for you next week. One more. One more. 100 barra. That's incredible, like another planet. Should have, we should have been four by now, so I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, we're on. We're on, Maggie. 